Hi guys, welcome back. And on today's episode, we're doing something a little bit different with owners and their cars, because I'm filming my personal daily driver. So let's get into this. So as I'm filming this today, I've brought along some help. Introducing, um, I've forgotten your YouTube and Instagram. Very bad. Yeah, very bad. I'll be putting it in the description. But he shall be filming me today and my car and maybe a future video on his car in the future. Let's see. Right, let's get into this. So, first question. How long have you owned the car? So, I got this brand new in... Uh, when was it? I think it was 2021? Uh, yeah, 2021 November I got this. Yeah. So, I've had it that long. And, yeah. So next question, do you enjoy owning the car? So, yes and no. I do enjoy owning the car because it's very nice and comfortable and it's good on driving on the road. The only thing I despise about it, and I mean despise, is I hate the CBT gearbox. The gearbox on this is terrible. I would not recommend it. Just don't get a CBT. So what is the real world MPG that you get? Right, okay, so real world MPG, I believe Toyota says it can get between 50 and 60 MPG, what to be honest is very close. So on normal driving, normal like roads and stuff, it can easily get 56 MPG, what's fine. But the reason I got this car is because I do a lot of central London driving. Now in central London driving, 20, 30 miles an hour everywhere, it can easily average 70 75 mpg but i find on motorways this is not good on fuel if it's the 1.8 not the 2 liter if you want mpg on the motorways get the 2 liter but on the motorways i'd maybe get 50 49 something around that what well, is still pretty good it saves me a lot of money on fuel but i would have thought the mpg would have been better so what is the 0 to 60 of this beast Right, so real, real world 0 to 60, Toyota, again, I believe, I'm not 100%, but I believe they say 11.2, what, in normal mode, it, yeah, it feels longer, but yeah, it's about that, but this, for some reason, have no idea why, don't ask me, it has a sport mode, and in sport mode, it can do it in about 9.5, 9.7, so, quick enough for normal driving. So now I'm going to give you just a couple of minutes to talk about the good and bad points about the car. Right, okay, so good part about the car is I love the styling. The styling of the car I think is amazing. The front end and the estate, of course, I think looks a lot better and with the optional extra rims, the, the design pack, I believe it's called. I really like it. Um, I also love the uh, Manhattan Grey. That was a very nice option. It was between Manhattan Grey or this similar blue to the car behind us, actually. But I went for this grey. Um, uh, what else is good about it? Uh, again, in London, going back to the MPG, uh, in London, the MPG is amazing and it's dead quiet. Uh, now, going on to the bad parts, the dead quiet bit is a bit annoying because in London you do get people just walk out in front of you because they've not heard you coming when it's in electric mode and when it reverses it does sound like a dying cat but um, I'm trying to think what else don't I like about it oh gearbox hate the gearbox the Toyota never make a CVT again it might do good for grannies but if, if you're if you're under the age of 30, you don't want a CVT, they're horrible. And I like automatics, but it's the worst automatic I've ever driven. Um, that's all I can really say about the car. So, I know this isn't your first car. No. So, you've owned a few. What do you rank this? Right, so it's very hard because a car I owned before, what is my channel based off, my Kia Soul, that was turbocharged, I loved that. That would be a 10 of 10, that was my all time favorite car. This, I'll, I'll be honest, it's, it's not anywhere near the Kia, but it is probably out of 10, it's in about an eight. But of course I've owned an Astra, I've owned a Polo, I've owned an Audi A3, I've had a Skoda Fabia, I've had, I've, I've had a bunch of things, but 
I would say this is my second favourite car that I've owned out of the bunch. Okay, so that was something a little bit different. I had a friend filming me uh, for a change. My first time, I believe, my first time on camera. So, yes, this is, like I said, my Toyota. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and stay tuned for more owners and their cars coming soon.